Hello and uh, today we'll be checking out the OpenCart City Zone area based delivery plugin. So basically this uh, plugin allows the customers or the guest users to check that uh, whether a product is deliverable to their city or not from the category and the product pages. Apart from that the customers can uh, just enter the postcode manually or can select the address and then they can check whether that particular product is available at their location or not. Also, this uh, particular plugin works for both the guests as well as for the registered customers and both can check the deliverability of the products uh, as required. So right now you can see that I'm at the uh, front end at the OpenGuard web store. And here at the top, you can see that we have the select address uh, option here. So this is visible to the uh, customers uh, or the registered users as well as the guest users. And from here, the, uh, they can check the, uh, the availability of the products at their location. Now, uh, there are two ways, uh, one for the guest and one for the registered user. So for the guest, we'll check uh, initially and then we'll go to the uh, registered users. And uh, thereafter, we'll see how the admin can set up uh, this particular plugin from the admin backend panel. So uh, before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I've not logged into my uh, account here and uh, what I'll do is I'll just tap here in the select address option and now uh, the guest user can see this particular prompt uh, to choose his uh, location. So if uh, it's a registered user, he can sign in and then he can uh, view his particular addresses being listed here. He can choose his address to check the availability of the products uh, at his particular location. Otherwise, if it's a guest user, he just needs to enter his zip code here and then tap here on the apply button to check whether the particular product or the uh, or to if the particular products are available at his uh, particular location uh, from the different categories as well. So uh, let me cross it out. And now let's go to the, uh, for example, let's go to uh, uh, cameras. This is one of the subcategories here. So right now you can see that we don't have any uh, products here because we have not selected any address. So now let's stop here. And here I'll be entering uh, this particular uh, zip code that has been configured by the admin from the admin backend panel for this particular uh, plugins configuration settings. So uh, let's enter this particular zip code and then tap I tapping the apply button. And now you can see the, that according to the uh, chosen uh, zip code and the location here at the top. Now it says California with the zip code 9001. Now at this location, uh, the, the user can see that uh, within this particular uh, category, the camera is only available for the location there. We can also go uh, to any of the categories. For example, if I go to the city-based uh, uh, delivery uh, category that I've created, here we can see all of the available products according to the entered uh, location. That's uh, the uh, California for the zip code entered by the guest user. So you can see that I'm not yet logged in. Now, for example, if uh, the uh, user wants or the guest user wants to change his location, he'll just tap again on that. And from there, he'll be able to uh, enter another zip code to check uh, the availability of the products that are being uh, basically there that, that would be available for delivery at the entered zip code. So, for example, if I ta tap in uh, and try and uh, enter uh, a zip code that is not valid, uh, you'll be able to see that no products available on this pin code a message prompts up uh, on this particular pop-up so that's how the guest users can uh, choose their location and with the particular uh, available products for that location so for example it's a uh, 90001 and i'll just tap here in the apply button now according to that i'll be able to see all of the uh, products uh, that are available for this uh, location so we can go to any of the uh, categories that we have so for example we are on the food category so right now uh, none of the products are available for the entered uh, uh, zip code that's uh, for the 9001 for california so right now that's why we can't see any of the uh, production of the food so if i go to the fashion we'll be able to see whether any products are available all right only two products are available for this particular uh, zip code entered by the guest user and if i go to the electronics we can see uh, that none are available there but under that if i go to the cameras uh, we'll be able to see that this particular one is available for the guest user so that's how the guest users can uh, check the same and they can uh, basically and a different uh, zip codes to check the availability as well so if i go ahead and if i tap again on this particular one and uh, if i just cross it out 
will again be at the home page now let me refresh this page once so right now you can see that for California we're able to see the uh, products now uh, let's check this uh, functionality uh, by uh, first logging into our customer account and let's see how the registered users would be able to uh, check the same so for that I'll just tap here on the login and uh, then I'll be entering my customers uh, email and the password to log into my customer account so you can see that I've logged into my customer account now uh, let me go to the uh, city based delivery so I can see the products here and at the top you can see that uh, we have uh, California already selected so we can change that up as well so uh, to check uh, or to check for the address uh, whether the products are available for that uh, particular uh, zip code we can tap here and here you can see that after login we're able to uh, see all of the uh, saved e uh, addresses here within this particular pop-up initially there was none but now you can see after login the registered users can access their addresses that they have saved now for example if I go for this United Kingdom for the zip code 98001 let's check that up uh, let me tap that up and let's see whether any products are available for that particular one and then let's go to any of the categories here so here you can see that uh, for the Bristol for the zip code 98001 uh, right now there's no city based delivery available to the uh, uh, selected uh, mailing address or the delivery address there and similarly if I go to the electronics as well we'll not be able to see any let's go to the cameras none are available for this uh, uh, selected zip code now if the registered user wants to uh, choose any other zip code for example this one uh, which is uh, configured for the products for uh, using this particular plugins uh, backend configuration then we'll be able to see whether the uh, uh, which products are available for purchase and for delivery as well so if I go for this one I'll just tap here for the Michael Doe and if I now go to the city based delivery category you can see that uh, right now uh, all, all of the available products for the zip code are available for the uh, user and now the user can very easily just tap here on the add to cart button for any of the products uh, that are available and thereafter can make a checkout uh, very easily so that's how the customers and the s users can understand how uh, this particular uh, basically functionality works it allows you to enter your zip code and according to the entered zip code or the city there uh, whichever products are available for that particular entered zip code or the location or, or the basically the city uh, those products are only displayed to the guests or the registered customers just the difference is that the uh, registered uh, ones can see their um, uh, addresses here directly and uh, the uh, guest users just need to enter the zip code here we can do it here as well uh, of, as a registered user as well I can access this and manually enter the zip code to check whether the products are available so you can see that no products are available on that uh, zip code for 9001 if I go for the apply we'll be able to see the complete list of products uh, there for the city based delivery all right so uh, that was much about the uh, workflow at the uh, store front now let's hop onto the admin bucket panel and let's see how uh, the admin can create the uh, series and how you can assign those uh, zip codes uh, uh, to the products for the availability uh, for the uh, created zip codes so for that let's go to the admin backend panel now so I'll be logging into my admin backend panel by entering my username and the password for my backend panel and after login for the initial configuration first you need to enable this functionality of the city based delivery uh, by navigating through extensions and then extensions so after the installation you'll just navigate through these then choose the extension type as modules here you'll just scroll down you'll have to select the city based delivery system just tap here in the edit button under the actions column and for the city based delivery system configuration for its status just choose it as enabled to make use of this functionality within your store otherwise uh, to not make use of the functionality uh, you can choose the option disabled and accordingly you can tap here on the save button to save the changes now after you have enabled it and uh, after the successful installation basically uh, you'll have the city based delivery menu option on the side hand panel here uh, to the admin and uh, under that you'll have the uh, manage city and the manage product data now let's go through uh, these options one by one so I'll just open the manage series first and then we'll hop on to the manage product data to see how we can assign the uh, cities and the zip codes to the products so uh, first let's hop on to the manage city 
so under the managed city the admin uh, for the first if you're coming for the first time to this particular section then uh, this particular uh, uh, tabular format would not be there so you'll have to first uh, create the series only after that you'll have be able to see the particular tabular form here with the country name the region the zip code and the city and you can also edit any of the created uh, uh, cities here so for example if I tap here and the edit uh, button under the actions column I'll have the country name the region under that the city and the zip code as you can see so from the drop down you can choose the country uh, you can choose the origin and the state you can choose uh, or you can enter the city as well and the respective zip code for that and uh, after make altering these you can tap here in the save button to save that particular city uh, apart from that the admin can delete any of the created ones uh, like uh, each uh, he can one by one also delete them or in bulk by choosing them and then tapping here on the delete button and uh, apart from uh, deleting uh, uh, the uh, created uh, cities he can also uh, search the cities using the city id uh, the zip code uh, the country or the city so for example if i go for uh, alaska and if i tap here in the filter button you can see that uh, the country region postcode city uh, are now filtered out for the entered uh, city here within the filter itself now uh, let's remove the filter and uh, let's clear it out now how to uh, manage or how to add a new one just tap here in the add new button from the drop down just uh, choose any of the country there united states for example now uh, the region let's go for uh, georgia city let me take that as georgia itself and uh, let me into the zip code let me set it as six triple o one and then tap here on the save button and this particular city would be saved so you can see that the uh, the city along with its uh, postcode has been saved so here's the united states georgia six triple o one and georgia so that's how you can uh, add a new city along with its uh, zip code and for a particular country you can create a uh, multiple number of uh, regions assign the zip codes to them along with the cities now uh, coming to the second option that's the manage uh, product data let's go to that particular one so here the admin can uh, find the complete list of products to which uh, the admin has assigned the postcode city and the uh, quantity of the products for that particular uh, postcode or the city now here you'll find that particular list here as well you can filter out uh, the uh, uh, product data using the product name the zip code the quantity that you have assigned to that product or the place and the city so for example if I go ahead and I enter Cardiff and hit the enter button or the filter button CRDIFF you can see that right now we have the product trench code uh, is valid for the zip code uh, 1001 the city is cardiff the quantity assigned to the same is 10 from here we can edit the same as well by just tapping here on the edit button under the actions column and here uh, the admin can uh, basically uh, choose a, a different product as well for example if i you'll have to just enter the uh, word and it would auto uh, uh, what we say it says the product there and you can choose the product for example if we choose again the trench code we can set the uh, quantity or we can change the quantity we can choose the city that we have already created and then from the drop down we can choose the uh, zip code as well so that's how we can uh, um, edit the same now comes how we can add uh, or how we can manage the product data so we'll just tap here in the add new button and you can see from here we can add the product and its quantity for the respective zip code and the city so from here let's uh, choose a product uh, let's enter shoe all right or uh, beach beach prom dress i'll set it the quantity as 60 i'll choose the city so here you can see that we had created uh, georgia if you remember so that is now available for selection uh, under the city section here so i'll choose it as georgia now uh, i entered 6001 so under the zip code i have 6001 i'll choose it up the product is beach brown dress and now i'll just tap here in the save button now uh, let me show you uh, a bit of uh, function the same functionality once again so let me take you to the storefront once again so now let me enter the zip code as 6 triple one and let me tap here in the apply button 
now under the city based delivery system now you can see that uh, according to the entered uh, zip code with the city name here we have the beach brown dress that we just uh, had set up for uh, uh, I'll just show you where it was here's the beach brown dress for the postcode 6001 Georgia the quantity is 60 if you remember so uh, that's how this particular plugin works uh, the user just needs to enter the zip code and according to that uh, the available uh, products for that particular location would then be populated to the customers then they can access that one so these are uh, for the category from the product page as well at the top you'll find the same so if you're on the product page itself you can also tap here and you can change your uh, zip code there or your address if you were already logged in and then if you go to your city base or any of the categories there according to the selected zip with the city there you'll find the products available for you to choose and make a check out thereafter so that was much about the uh, plugin itself that is the open guard city based uh, area uh, delivery plugin i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries or suggestions then kindly do get back to us and support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uedesk.com or you can also get back to us at our contacts that is uh, www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and if you like this video kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead